Durkheim's The Division of Labor in Society, Exploring Social Order and Solidarity. Emil Durkheim, a pioneering figure in the realm of sociology, unveiled profound insights into societal dynamics with his seminal work, The Division of Labor in Society. This groundbreaking text, published in 1893, laid the groundwork for Durkheim's enduring contributions to the understanding of social order, solidarity, and the evolving nature of modern societies. Durkheim's exploration begins with the concept of solidarity, a key theme that underpins his analysis. He introduces the dichotomy of mechanical and organic solidarity, two distinct forms of social cohesion that characterize different stages of societal development. In pre-industrial, traditional societies, Durkheim observes the prevalence of mechanical solidarity. Here, individuals are bound together by shared values, beliefs, and similarities. The collective conscience is strong, and social integration arises from the likeness of individuals within the community. This form of solidarity is akin to the cohesive force observed in small, close-knit communities where individuals share similar customs, traditions, and a collective moral fabric. As societies transition to industrialization and modernization, Durkheim identifies the emergence of organic solidarity. This form of social cohesion is marked by interdependence and specialization. In complex industrial societies, individuals no longer share the same set of beliefs or values. Instead, social order is maintained through the division of labor, where individuals become specialized in specific roles and contribute to the functioning of the whole. The interdependence resulting from this division fosters organic solidarity, where individuals rely on each other for various goods and services. Durkheim contends that the division of labor is not just an economic phenomenon, but a social one. It shapes the very fabric of society by influencing the nature of social relationships and the collective conscience. This division results in a more complex but integrated social structure, where each individual plays a specialized role, contributing to the overall functioning of the society. While Durkheim extols the benefits of the division of labor and organic solidarity, he also acknowledges its potential drawbacks. One of the key concepts he introduces is Anami, a state of normlessness and moral confusion that can arise in rapidly changing societies. Anami occurs when there is a lack of regulation and integration, leading to a breakdown of shared norms and values. This concept has enduring relevance in understanding societal challenges associated with rapid modernization and social change. Durkheim's insights into Anami serve as a precursor to later discussions on societal ills, including crime and deviance. The breakdown of moral integration, according to Durkheim, can lead to increased social problems as individuals feel disconnected from the collective conscience that guides ethical behavior. To address the challenges posed by Anami, Durkheim explores the role of professional ethics as a mechanism for maintaining moral integration in industrial societies. Professions, according to Durkheim, contribute to the collective conscience by establishing rules and norms that guide behavior. The ethical codes within professions serve as a moral compass, ensuring that individuals adhere to shared values, even in the absence of direct interpersonal connections. Durkheim's examination of professional ethics anticipates later sociological inquiries into the role of professions in shaping societal values. This perspective becomes particularly relevant in contemporary discussions on the ethical responsibilities of various professions, such as medicine, law, and business, in guiding societal norms and behaviors. The division of labor in society not only provides a theoretical framework for understanding social order and solidarity, but also contributes to the ongoing dialogue about the evolution of societies. Durkheim's ideas have left an indelible mark on sociology, shaping subsequent discussions on the challenges and benefits of societal organization. Despite its significant contributions, Durkheim's work is not immune to critiques. Some argue that his analysis oversimplifies the complexities of social dynamics, and others question the universal applicability of his ideas to diverse cultural contexts. However, the enduring legacy of the division of labor in society lies in its ability to spark critical reflection and ongoing discussions within the field of sociology.
In conclusion, Emile Durkheim's exploration of the division of labor, solidarity, and the challenges posed by Anami provides a rich tapestry for understanding the dynamics of human societies. The shift from mechanical to organic solidarity, the emergence of Anami, and the role of professional ethics offer valuable insights that continue to shape sociological inquiry. Subscribe, like, and share to embark on a journey through the foundations of sociology and explore the enduring relevance of Durkheim's profound insights.